Sergey Karyakin, you just beat Pragananda with the black pieces. Um, there was this uh, exchange sacrifice by, uh, by Prague in the opening. Um, do you think you had everything under control there? Uh, actually, I have no idea what was going on in this game. <laughs> it was just a uh, completely crazy game. Uh, I played a sharp line, uh, sacrificing the pawn after knight h5, and uh, then uh, my opponent was well prepared, and he came up with this idea h4, which I at least didn't remember, or maybe I didn't know. <laughs> I have to check. So then, uh, I don't know, maybe I should have played something else, and later on he sacrificed an exchange, and it was a very, very dangerous position, but uh, at least the, the, there were no immediate win, but it was very dangerous for me. Maybe he, he had something. And then later on we got the end game, which I first thought... W were you happy that you were able to uh, to exchange the queens? Uh, yes, yeah, sure, because I understood that uh, I'm not worse, at least, and... Uh, uh, okay, well, basically, I thought it's a draw uh, at the beginning, but later on I started to think that maybe I can play this position a little bit, so uh, then I decided not not uh, to repeat the moves, but to play h5, which is uh, very sharp, and uh, um, it's very principal, but uh, it's also risky for black, so because I sacrifice a, a second pawn, and uh, uh, then uh, he, when he played knight before. Uh, takes takes king for knight x6. I'm three pounds down, so it's <laughs> it's very tricky. And uh, then okay, I, I think uh, it should have been drawn somehow. And later on, after the time control, after I played uh, uh, after I played e5, okay, I understood that uh, I'm playing uh, on win on win. That's for sure. And later on, uh, when I played rook c8, and if he plays c7, then d4. Uh, he played king d1 and. Uh, here I thought it should be winning for me. Mm -hmm. um, maybe he had some uh, small improvements, but basically I think it should it, it, it was winning already. Yeah. When I checked with the engine, because I had the privilege to actually follow the game with an engine, <laughs> uh, it showed that like on move 40 for black, there was yes. a move h6 instead of c6, where white is actually better, like plus one and a half or something. Ah, really? uh, yeah. So uh, as I s say that h5, it was it was like crazy move to, for the three um, results. Anything, anything could happen basically. Okay, maybe I should have played rook e8 if I didn't want to repeat the moves, but I think it's it should be a draw. And uh, yeah, like uh, what I did was completely crazy. May maybe he was winning. I don't know. But it must be nice to actually like take take some risks in a game and uh, yeah. and to get rewarded. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's not actually very often that I like to take risks w w which I cannot uh, be sure, but uh, so th this time I decided to go on and... Yeah. Well, uh, why, why is that? Why don't you take so much risks usually? I mean, if you take much risk, then you can <laughs> you can lose uh, if your opponent is playing well. So <laughs> that's very simple. But uh, I mean, here I thought that the position is very interesting and okay, let's go. But uh, in another position, maybe I wouldn't do the same. Yeah. Oh, it sounds like you're you're having fun here in Vacanze. Uh, yeah, I, I like uh, Vacanze very much. Uh, I, I like b basically Netherlands, Amsterdam, everything. <laughs> mm.